second key that programs honor is value. Write it down. If there's anyone under the anointing, they just help them out. Value. Everybody say value. What is value? A measure of your usefulness to God, to men, to society. It's called value. Value is a measure of your usefulness. A measure of your usefulness. Either through your skilled acquired, through your inherent talents developed, or through impartations that you have received. Value is a measure of your usefulness. And you can measure your usefulness by who is looking for you. If no man is looking for you, it's a revelation that your usefulness is not there or has not been discerned. Are we together? This kingdom was built on a reward system. Your value plays a role in bringing you favor. So you look at someone who is a medical practitioner. Seven years ago, that person would not walk into a hospital. They would throw you away because the value, you have not been cultured to produce that level of usefulness and you subject yourself through an educational system and all they didn't change your cloth for seven years. They didn't change your name. All they changed was your mindset. They constructed your understanding in a certain way and after seven years, the same hospital that rejected you is saying, come and practice. Value value see it thou a man diligent 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 through value in his business he says he will not stand before mean men he will stand before kings being anointed is important but it's not enough you must be valuable are we together as a pastor as a man of god you must be valuable it's not enough to say I'm anointed. Don't worry what I say. Don't worry. The most important thing is just the power. You are not speaking to animals. That is the reason why certain people never go to some churches. You see that? There is not, it's not an insult. The atmosphere and the extent, the informations that have been communicated are not worthy of their reception. Are we together? Yes. You cannot gather CEOs and gather heads of services and all of that and then you are you are not communicating something that is relevant to them your research is poor your communication is poor your the ability to articulate your thoughts are poor and say it doesn't matter no it does at least in today's world it does value everybody shout value yes your certificate may give you a job but it's your value your value intrinsically that determines how much you keep rising further. Value. Believers, I'm sorry to say this, but it's true. An uncomfortable truth at that. Believers are lazy people. Believers are lazy people. We are very superstitious in our context. And because of that, we excuse spirituality for laziness. There's no commitment to develop in our minds. Many pastors are lazy. Let me tell you the truth and I submit to you. Ask anyone who knows me. I commit myself to study. God has anointed me. But I know that there are people who are not sick. There are people who are not poor. There are people who are not in need of breakthrough. You have to come up with an intelligence that defies their pride to communicate Christ to them. It's called value. I speak to people at immigration. I speak to military people. I speak to politicians. You must have content that is needed and useful. And this is not an impartation. You go for it. It's the labor dimension of success. Are we together? Is God speaking to us this morning? You must cultivate problem-solving abilities and be exceptional and communicate it with excellence. My house is full of all kinds of business proposals and different things to lay hands and speak on. And, and you open it and look at it and it's complete nonsense. Complete nonsense. Nonsense that is written there. With minimal humility, you can see an intelligent person who can help you present something articulate. You don't like what I'm saying? Love me, oh, because... 
the results will so speak in your life that it will scare you. It's true. Are we together? This is what church should be. That you come for a Sunday service and live wiser. You are ready to execute the truth on Monday. Not that you just went to a superstitious house and then by Monday you are repeating the same circle of mistakes. Any unbeliever listening to this knows that it's worthy of note. This is not an information for Christians. It is God's system to make men prosper. Applicable to all men, regardless of religious backgrounds. For you can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Be valuable. As a man of God, learn scripture. Don't sit down and quote nonsense. Sorry, <laughs> you know, this don't, don't mind all these scriptures. No, be serious. Be very serious. We do some of these things and then we laugh about it. That's why someone looks at you and says, no, don't invite this man again, please. I know he's anointed, but look, the kind of people that God has honored us in this church, we must reciprocate, reciprocate back that honor. Look at how Jesus treated people. When he saw the centurion, he acted in a certain way. When he saw certain people, Jesus did not generalize his treatment. No, he saw Zacchaeus. He said, no, no, Zacchaeus, you are a tax collector. You are an influential personality. To have climbed the tree is enough honor to me. Let's go to your house. Jesus, your Jesus. <laughs> Why do they keep men in front? What kind of, are we not all equal? Mr. Man, don't, if you don't understand anything, seek knowledge. Seek knowledge. We have destroyed ourselves and marketed our mediocrity in church because we do not understand the systems. Jesus is passing and a man of influence communicates value. He knows that if I win this man, I have reduced the pain of fraudulent taxes for people. And he says, let me go. Meeting you is worth it. I, I can lose a Sunday service for you because when in, in your redemption is the redemption of everyone under your influence. Jesus was particular to bring influential people. Are we together? Yes. Are you valuable? I'm a graduate. That's not what I ask you. Are you valuable? I have three degrees. That's not what I'm asking you. Congratulations. Are you valuable? To be valuable means that what you have to offer in the table of life is needed and useful. Needed and useful. Is there a demand for what you think you want to do? Is God helping us? You have a restaurant. You are praying. Can your pastor go and eat in your restaurant? Yesterday while we were, we were having dinner, we're just appreciating the, the excellence and the hospitality that this church had provided. I think you should honor the church. Absolutely. Hallelujah. Truly speaking, they paid attention. The pastor's wife was trying to just refresh us a bit at the office and I was touched by her meticulousness to excellence. You will say it does not matter. You are trying to draw somebody you consider is valuable to you and you are drawing it at your terms you don't receive favor at your terms no sir no sir is god speaking to us does your restaurant have the kind of excellence what does it take to go and learn how to do it well and be professional be excellent at it excellence is a language there are people who can speak it excellence is like yoruba the same way when you speak I'm not Yoruba and so I'll just look and hope that I'm getting what you are saying. But there's someone, there are people, unfortunately, all of them are the wealthy ones you are looking for. The language is excellence. When I hear you speaking my language, I come to you because it's a sign that we have something in common. Could it be that that's the reason why some people have not come to your business? This is not the issue of just blind prayer. God, do it anyhow. Can't you anoint it? Do it. No. There is a system. In heaven, pastor, where there are no demons, there are gates. You don't just enter anywhere and go anywhere. No. There is a foundation. There are gates. There is a throne room. There is when to speak. You don't just come and say, Jesus, after all, you are, you are love. What is wrong? This other angel doesn't leave. No, 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 no. There is a system of order. In heaven, no sin, no fasting, no demons 
yet order still remains. Say, I receive grace to be valuable. Yes. For some of you, your value may need, may require the humility to acquire relevant skills in whatever field of endeavor whether professionally speaking or through mentorship the sacrifice of mentorship are we together there are some of you you will need to cultivate the inherent abilities resident within you that you are gifted does not mean is enough to reward you has your gift been developed enough to be worthy of rewarding one gentleman came to me one time. He said he wanted to go to, was it Mexico or UK? He said he's a footballer. I said, you play like who? I don't watch football, but you play like who? Let's not make a fool out of God here. You play like who? Because everyone out there that you are admiring has a minimum, there is a minimum standard of competence. Don't just come and say, pray for me. You go and loiter around Mexico nobody invites you to win you see the thing with competence is the moment you are ready the forces of favor start coming sometimes some things you call delay is God's mercy to allow you prepare so you don't blow the opportunity in the presence of your destiny helpers so he himself will delay the open door you are there binding because there's no knowledge oh Satan and God says, look, if you came before your boss now, you will never be promoted. So I made him travel. You are crying. Instead of you to quickly go back, your boss will ask you one question and look at you and say, I've always known you are smart. You are ready to join the managerial team. They don't like me just because I'm not this and that. It's not true. Excellence vetoes backgrounds. Vetoes whatever. Take responsibility. Are we together? Yes. Ah, apostle, people like you. You are lucky. God just anointed you. That's why you are going to every church. Let, let that luck work for you. I wish. Brothers and sisters, ask those who know me. My hours of sleep are few. Because you see, when you are up there, you will do more to remain. Are we together? Yes. You see, the thing about success is if someone starts shouting now under the anointing, you will not be surprised again because it's a dimension you know is possible. That means there must be more. When you camp around a level for a long time, you become stale. You are not backsliding, but you are not worthy of being rewarded too. The easiest part of success is getting it. Maintaining success is harder than it because your standard is higher. So if you have the leading business in this territory, then it means you must do more. If others who are behind you are just doing whatever they want to do, closing their shop by six, say, why is it raining? And you do the same thing? No, sir. No, sir. Why don't you come up with a system of 24-hour service? Ah, possibly it's human beings. That's the reason why you should be the best. It is that extra effort, the intelligence you have put in your business that makes it a 24-hour service. So the man who can give you another land comes by 2 a.m. and wants the drug and says, I'm surprised. 2 a.m. you are still out. Say, yes, sir. Say, talk to me about yourself. Say, oh, this and I say, do you know, I just had a dream and I saw myself blessing someone. Go and get the land. And somebody who wakes up by 9 and sleeps by 4, say, why? Say, well, I, I'm a Christian. I must go to church. Can't you create a system of continuity so that whether or not you are there, it continues running? God is talking. I don't know if I'm boring you this morning, but I came, I came to pour my heart. This thing you see, I didn't get it by impartation. I get I got it by pursuing uncommon mentors. Although anointed, I would have said, What is there? You're anointed, I'm anointed. There are sick people. Somebody who needs healing must come and meet me and reward me. And then we remain small. Make up your mind to be valuable. There are people here, some of you I know, you want to get into ministry. And if I ask you, why do you think you'll succeed? Say, sir, you've forgotten. You laid hands on me in Ibadan. If that's why you think you will succeed, think again. Truly speaking, think again. I'm not trivializing the anointing. 
but the anointing is only useful in the presence of value the oil remained small because there was no capacity the moment capacity was enlarged the potentials of the oil was revealed